Sadaqen and Ghalib. Sadaqen's interpretation of Ghalib's poetry. A presentation by Sadaqen Foundation USA. Interpretation of Ghalib's Verses This presentation is part of a series of 13 presentations. Each individual presentation consisting of a specific genre from Sadaqan's portfolio. This presentation consists of Sadaqan's palette, consisting of Sadaqan's interpretation of Ghalib's poetry. But first a few words about Ghalib himself and then we will review Sadaqan's paintings. Ghalib is regarded as the most revered of Urdu poets. He composed poetry in Persian and Urdu, but he is most famous for his ghazals written in Urdu. The genre of ghazal, arguably the most popular form of Urdu poetry, conforms to a specific format and in retrospect predominantly deals with one subject an expression of anguish and unattainable love. Ghalib, however, redefined its composition and imbued it with philosophical discourse. He pondered on the mysteries of the universe and lamented about the travails of life. Ghalib composed ghazals to address many other subjects and vastly expanded the scope of the genre. Ghalib was born on December 27, 1797. He is one of the most read and most quoted persons when it comes to Urdu poetry. Ghalib is considered to be the last great and influential poet of the Mughal era. Originally, his pen name was Asad which was drawn from his given name, Asadullah Khan. Early in his poetic career, he got the pen name of Ghalib, which means all conquering, all powerful. Besides being an Urdu poet, Ghalib was also a gifted writer of letters. Ghalib died in Delhi on February 15, 1869. His house in Chandni Chok, Old Delhi, known as the Ghalib Ki Haveli, Ghalib's home, has now been converted into a memorial with a permanent exhibition of Ghalib's memorabilia. He was buried in Hazrat Nizamuddin near the tomb of Nizamuddin Aulia in Delhi. With that, let's review Sadat Khan's artworks, which are interpretations of Ghalib's poetry. The images are accompanied by a commentary in the background. Sadaqen's paintings based on interpretation of Ghalib's poetry. The commentary provides historical context to the paintings. Eastern poetry and specifically poetry from the Indian subcontinent may be understood as a poetic expression of both the pain of loss or pain of separation and the beauty of love in spite of that pain. In other forms, the Indian poetry is a continuous chronicle of a historical event or expression of ideas and philosophical thought. The most popular of the Indian poetic forms is called the Ghaza. In its style, and content, it is a genre which has proved capable 
of an extraordinary variety of expressions around its central themes of love and separation. It is one of the principal poetic forms which the Indo-Persian Arabic civilization offered to the Eastern world. The ghazal has a specific form and traditionally deals with one dominant subject, that is love. And not just any kind of love, but specifically an elusive and unattainable love. The ghazals of the subcontinent, in some cases, can also have an influence of Islamic mysticism, and the subject of love in such cases can be interpreted for a higher being. The notion of love is always viewed as a quality that will complete a human being, and if attained, will elevate him to a higher order. Ghalib's ghazals have an influence of Sufi mysticism, and therefore, the expression of love can either be interpreted as directed toward a higher being or for a mortal beloved. This expression in either case is intended to lift the believer to the ranks of the higher order and provide satisfaction to the soul. In keeping with the traditions of the classical ghazal, the gender of the beloved in most of Ghalib's verses is elusive. It has thus been argued that his ghazals consist mostly of sonnets about eternal love in the traditional sense of the term. In most cases, Ghalib's ghazal is written from the point of view of the hopeless lover whose beloved is portrayed as unapproachable and unattainable. Most often, either the beloved does not reciprocate to the poet's overtures with affection or responds with utter indifference. In other cases, social barriers would not be conducive for the love to bloom. However, the lover stays passionate, accepts his fate, and continues to shower his affection. This tension of unattainable love provides the captivating impetus to the lyrics of the ghazal. To accentuate the intensity, sometimes the lover's hopeless situation is portrayed even through poetically exaggerated violence expressed by extended metaphors about the arrows of his eyes and by referring the beloved as a callous assassin. Yet, in other form of deviation, Ghalib often digressed from the traditional ghazal metaphors and occasionally questioned old dogmas, which in Ghalib's opinion result in stagnation of critical thinking. His questioning of the existence of the heaven and hell would be one example of such digression. Such is the case with Ghalib's poetry and Salakan's interpretation.